Disasters can happen at any time, they're unpredictable and sometimes you may not be at home when a disaster happens. If you're not at home when an emergency begins, um, you need to have a plan. If I've learnt one thing, it's let other people know what that plan is. If you have animals on adjustment, you really need to know what you're going to do. In Australia, around 63% of households have pets. I enjoy that bond that we have together. You know, they need me, I need them. They just make me laugh. Our pets are very much part of the family. Milo is our chocolate Labrador. She's so in tune with Josh having a disability. She's a very, very special member of the family. She's my fifth baby. George has been in my life for ages and he's <laughs> and he's pretty cool. I love spending time with him. He's very cuddly. So in 2013, when, when the, the day the fire hit, the first that Joshy and his carer knew about it was when a neighbour tapped on the door and he opened the door and she said, you need to get out, there's a fire, and he could see the flames across the road. I just didn't think anything like that would ever happen and Josh would be here. He wasn't on his own, but he wasn't with me. In early 2020, there was uh, a large bushfire threat locally. I live uh, up on a ridge and the horses live down in a valley here at a, an adjustment facility. It's a good 20, 25 minutes from home. So then there's a, a manager. She kept an eye on the maps, told us what was happening, what she was doing with the horses if she needed to move them. And we were just monitoring that as to whether we needed to potentially move them right out of the valley altogether if it was going to get worse. There was just calves lined up, they weren't moving because they couldn't go anywhere. So I just pulled my car up onto someone's footpath and ran. You could see the smoke, you could see the glow, and the closer I got, the darker it got. The fire was like a tornado and it was so frightening. If you're not at home when an emergency begins, you need to have a plan about what you're gonna do. That really underpins how important it is for us to talk about this as a family. So we all know what the plan is uh, in that situation with no one at home. I've spoken to my neighbour about what I would like them to do if emergency happens, and they know that you know, I don't care about broken windows or anything else if it needs to be. I just want the animals to be out and safe. I've got their contact details and we can keep in touch. By working together with people we have shared interests with, I think we can get a lot of benefit in terms of the well-being of our animals, but also, you know, that peace of mind that we're not alone. If I've learnt one thing, it's to make sure that I've got a plan for my animals and I have a plan for Josh who has a disability. He will get Milo, he puts Milo on the lead and he knows that he can go to any of the neighbours across the road because they're all like family to us. You need to have a plan and make sure you let other people know what that plan is.